Hello, my name is Selena, and I'm going to review Quince Volume 1 by creator Sebastian Kadlikic, writer Kit Steinkellner, and artist Emma Steinkellner. This comic includes 15 issues all in one ebook. I found this book on the Hoopla app. Most girls who turn 15 expect a drama filled quinceanera. Lupe got just that. At her quinceanera, she feels different and tingly. She believes she is going crazy as weird stuff happen to her. She soon realizes that she has superpowers. Her grandmother helps her train to control and enhance her abilities. Lupe soon assumes responsibility for her neighborhood and becomes a superhero. She fights criminals and holds them for the police's arrival. She gathers a following of fans and viewers on social media while trying to maintain her normal life at school. She leads a double life from her friends and family, which can be exhausting. Anytime there is good, there is also evil to balance out. Lupa must put her life on hold to defeat this evil. Lupa is a refreshing character. She is tough yet insecure about not being a worthy opponent. She reacts in a way that is normal. She complains about her grandmother's training techniques and rules, just as I would complain about any form of exercise. Her grandmother or abuela is a great complimentary character. Their relationship's wholesome and really excels the story and provides a great motivation and emotion to this comic. Quinta Volume 1 touches on many life lessons. The reader learns that nothing in life is easy. Lupe works hard to become a superhero. Many things in life require practice and dedication for improvement. With gifts come responsibility. Lupe sees beyond the black and white of good and evil. There is a great place in between and a story behind every villain. Lupe is understanding and doesn't give up on people. Quinta Valley 1 briefly touches on delicate topics such as weight. At first I thought this ebook was only one issue, but luckily it turned out to be the entire collection of 15 issues. Each issue is short but provides great stories in between. Each stepping, stopping point leaves the reader interested and provides a great transition to the next issue. I do, not ha I do have to warn that this comic book includes Spanish words and dialogue between Lupe and her abuela. I believe that the reader does not need to know Spanish in order to understand what is happening. Some pop culture references are thrown in there as well. For example, Selena Quintanilla's music is mentioned. I did have an issue reading the text of this comic. The font sizes were different in the word bubbles. I had to use the magnification feature on Hoopla to read most of the panels. I really enjoyed the cutesy art style of Quinta Valley 1. It was minimal but effective. A lot of the background for panels were only one solid color missing or included simple box buildings. It wasn't something that I noticed right away, but was consistent throughout the entire comic collection. I wish that there would have been more detail for backgrounds, uh, just to feel a little bit more immersive. Lupe's hero costume design was perfection. Her costume features traditional Latin flower designs on the sides of her outfit. This book fits under the genres of comics, adventure, and maybe even a little bit of romance. I would rate this book 4 out of 5 stars. It was a fun, light read. I would recommend this book to anyone who enjoys comics, superheroes, or is part of the Latin community. I thoroughly enjoyed this book and hope you give it a try.